great. You know, ever since the new Captain Everspark update, well, it wasn't an update for Everspark, but we got a new level of Captain Everspark. We brought her up to level 14, and um, in doing so, we unlocked a new level of all of her abilities. So we can upgrade her explosive charges to level six after this video, and I probably will. I like explosive charges. I know a lot of people don't really use them, but they're pretty fun to play with. Maybe we'll do some attacks after we open up these 75 crates, and we're just gonna jump into it and just spam these. So this is the new screen, the new user interface after the last update, and what's happening right now? It's not letting me click anymore. Is that, what is that? Uh-oh. Okay, I logged back on and it looks like I just glitched out a chest. So let's see if that happens anymore. That's pretty weird. I was getting nervous that my video idea was not gonna work out, but only one token from that time? Only one token from that time. I thought they gave more than one. That one gave me two. I don't really care about tokens though. It is nice to try to upgrade your hero abilities. And I remember when we first started out with the trader, when the trader first came out, it was very much a grind. I didn't want to miss out on any tokens, but I kind of underestimated how many abilities the, um, the heroes had. And I wanted to max them all out, but I don't know if I'll ever max out all of my hero abilities. Look at this, eight tokens, eight prototype parts, three crystals, and a ton of loot. But yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to fully max out all of my heroes. I don't think I have any hero, okay, I'm a little lagged out. I don't think I have any hero's abilities fully maxed. I did have Captain Eversparks, all of her abilities fully maxed. So I might try to max out her abilities again. It's so weird though, it's so weird. One thing you guys do have to watch out after this last update this past week is the trader will no longer give you confirmation screens when you click on her offers. So if you click on that dark crystal for 200 diamonds, it's just gonna automatically cost you that and it's not gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna do this? And on a trade like that where you spend diamonds, it's very important you don't click that unless, of course, you're using code COSMIC in the shop. Then you can click it. Okay, we're just gonna keep grinding out these crates are we halfway yet? No, we're not even halfway yet. It is taking a lot longer than I expected from the previous times I've done this. I think I've opened up over 100 crates once, so this is less than the normal amount I like to save up for, but I also want to get some hero abilities popping off. I really want to max out Captain Eversparks explosive uh, explosive charges again because those things are really, really cool in battle, and I'm hoping we'll have time today to show you those. I think we will. There's a special way you have to use them, <laughs> but they are very good. Like you, may, you might not think they're useful because you never see anyone playing with them. And uh, I think I was one of the first YouTubers to show. I don't know if any other YouTuber has upgraded the explosive charges or not, but I really like them. And uh, I might gym them up in today's video just because I want to see what they look like maxed out. My loot is slowly going up, which is awesome. I wanna, I think I have one more flamethrower left. I'll look after I fully unlock all of these crates, but I'm pretty sure my last defense is one more flamethrower, and then I just have my two iron storages. I think I, I did one iron storage already. So we're getting very close to becoming a fully maxed out Boom Beach player again. We're sitting at level 68. Now, level 68 will actually turn into, you'll be able to get 75% of the way to level 69, which is pretty sweet. The next Boom Beach update, I'm guessing, I'm really hoping we'll get a new HQ level because it was a lot of fun just upgrading stuff. And I'm really hoping for more visual upgrades. So when you upgrade your rocket launchers, they look beefier than they do now. They don't just have a red base because the red base looks kind of cheap, in my opinion. That's the main reason I want a new update. I just want my base looking even stronger. But here we go, we're getting close to the final couple of crates. Typically, when you're at this point in time, your gold storage would be overflowing, but I still have so much space left in my gold storage with this new update. I think my gold storage can hold up to like 12 million gold 
and I have 10.5 million. This will also be really good for my, oh, look at that, that's sweet. This will also be really, really good for my tribes because I need to spend some gems on tribes. And here we go, I think that was it. It might, we might be able to glitch out. Nope, that was it. So let's open up our crates here. We'll grab diamonds and we'll grab ice shards. And there we go. Let's make sure we're supporting cosmic here. Oops, did not mean to click that. There we go. And now we can spend the gems. Oh, wait, what? I, have a, oh, I didn't even see this machine gun back here. I need to upgrade that machine gun instead of my flamethrower. Wait, I have this one. Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I have a whole nother level of flamethrowers to upgrade. I think they brought out two levels of flamethrowers. Oh man, that makes me really sad. I just didn't have enough gold to upgrade or enough loot to upgrade them before, so I never got the dialogue. I still have a long ways to go. That makes more sense. I was wondering how just doing one more flame and two, uh, it looks like we have three iron storages to upgrade, would get me 75% of the way there. But let's upgrade our machine gun because I want all my machine guns maxed out. And now we have to replace it with one because I don't want that back defense. I need that back defense to be active because a lot of people will try to drop critters back there. And we can't have that. Okay, so let's go to my hero screen and let's do explosive charges like I said. I'll make a video dedicated. Okay, I'm not dropping 900 diamonds to gym that up. That was a lot more than I thought. So we're just going to let that go. I'll make a video when that happens, but I do want to show you Captain Eversparks explosive charges in action because they look pretty sweet. So first though, let's let's uh, convert some stuff. Do just gold because I want to save as much loot as possible for when our machine gun is done. So as for the ability, I've done a couple attacks. Sometimes I'll just, I'll like smoke Everspark and sometimes I'll just walk through the base. I think we'll just bring Hookah and we need to make sure we select Captain Everspark explosive charges again. And let's attack Jimmy here. Of course, this isn't Cosmic Duo Jimmy, it's a different Jimmy. So let's take him out and avenge Cosmic Duo Jimmy. So. I don't really know the best way to go about using Everspark. So the explosive charges are only going to hit um, defenses. I don't think they target, or I don't think Everspark will target non-defenses, so support buildings or passive buildings. But let's drop some med kits and we'll activate Everspark. She's gonna run up, she's gonna toss it, and it deals so much damage. It one-shots, the initial blast will one-shot whatever building Captain Everspark targets, which is so cool. And then the shrapnel from it deals about, not half damage, but it deals a lot of damage. And I actually lost like most of my heavies. So we just have to make sure I keep stuff shocked, we keep splash shocked. So I think it deals like 8,000 damage for the initial blast and then the shrapnel I, I believe deals half that damage so it is it is really good and you'll see there I just killed all those critters that probably hurt me more than it helped me to be honest so I need to watch out because it will blow up critters now I will show you an alternative way to use Captain Eversparks explosive charges so off the initial blast, I deal 13,800 damage, and the shrapnel deals 7,400 damage. So keeping that in mind, we're gonna scout out this next player, and I'm actually gonna use Everspark as I would, I actually don't wanna do that player. I'm gonna use Everspark as I will, or as someone would use Universal Remote, but Explosive Charges works the same way, but it deals less damage. Well, Universal Remote doesn't deal damage. It targets defenses to shoot the targeted defense. Pretty much taking it out. So we're actually gonna use this and take down this person's, okay, he has way too much health. Yeah, there's no way. You only wanna do this if you can one shot the defense you're trying to attack. So that's one thing you do have to watch out for. This person has 16,000 HP on the boom cannons. I kind of forgot how much this dealt. So this deals 13, 8, 
800. But I think everyone is going to have the maxed out boom cannon. So I don't know if it will fully work. But we'll try it. I just want to see what will happen. We're going to drop our hero. Smoke. Bart. We're going to activate her ability and flare. Activate first. Flare second. And then as soon as the smoke is about to wear off. She targets. We uh, got that down and we'll target the next defense over here and see that time I forgot to use the ability first then flare so she'll target the shock launcher she'll take down the shock launcher and you'll see how cheap this is it's in oh, oops that was a mistake but the hero ability is incredibly cheap it doesn't scale up as much as universal remote so it really makes for a good alternative if you can one shot it if you can't one shot these buildings it's probably not worth it and you'll see here I don't think I'll be able to one shot this boom cannon but we'll see how much damage it deals now I kind of feel like the shrapnel deals damage to to the original building also so I think we might actually take down this boom cannon yeah so the shrapnel does deal original damage so we're actually gonna flare back I'm gonna drop a smoke and we're gonna drop our entire army of troops so we can use Eversparks ability more later on. I don't want to walk too far into this player's base to lose that. So yeah, that's one thing I forgot. So the shrapnel along with the initial damage, it builds up and it's really, really good. So it deals like 20,000 damage right off the bat. And then the shrapnel deals an additional uh, 7,400 damage. So it's really, really good, is what I'm trying to say. I would say upgrade it after you max out battle orders and after you max out bullets, energy drink. Because those are the two big Boom Beach abilities I feel like everyone kind of needs to have. And you can't use, just like Universal Remote, you can't activate explosive charges on... Um, on prototypes or support buildings. It always has to be on a regular defense, which kind of sucks. But it's a lot of fun to play with, and I will definitely make a new maxed out explosive charge video. I call it the ability, like the worst Boom Beach ability, but in reality, it's one of the best in my opinion, but people think it's the worst. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. Remember to use Cosmic in the shop and check out our Discord link below. And I'll talk to you in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.